Okay, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about swap rates. I need to get a better intro. I never really know what to say in the intro, but anyway. In this video we're going to talk about swap rates. And um, what they are, why they are, how you can use them to your benefit, more importantly. How you can make money from them. Now this is only really going to apply to swing traders, position traders, people that are holding their trades for more than one day because obviously for the swap rate to be applied to your trade that trade has to be open one day into the next day so that has to, it has to have been open before the daily candle closes on your broker now most commonly it will be 5 p.m eastern standard time or 10 p.m gmt when this fee will be applied as the, the day rolls over into the next one is when this swap rate, this rollover charge, this carry fee, whatever you want to call it, uh, when it will be applied is on that tick over to the next day. Now, the reason this swap rate is applied is basically when you're using leverage to trade, you're basically taking a loan from your broker. And like any loan, there is interest incurred. Now, this interest rate is calculated with the differential between the two currencies that you're trading, okay? So in this example on screen, if you were buying Euro against uh, the Turkish Lira, then you would have a negative swap rate because Europe's current interest rate is 0.0% and Turkey's is plus 19%. So you would incur a big loss every time the day rolled over with that swap fee you have a negative swap fee but if you are buying the turkish lira against the euro then you would have a positive differential in the swap and you would have a positive swap fee so you'd be making money by holding that sell on euro uh, turkish lira overnight you'd be making money just holding it so obviously if you want to make money from swap rate, you have to be buying the currency with a higher interest rate. So how is the swap rate calculated? It's the contract size times the interest rate differential plus the broker's markup divided by 100 times the price and the number of days. Now, some brokers will do a 365 day calculation. Some brokers will do a 360. It just depends and it depends on the asset that you're trading. So this calculation will give you just sort of basic idea. It won't be perfect for your broker. You know, brokers will vary depending on what their markup is and how they calculate it. If you come over to here, you see the interest rate. Turkey is 19%, uh, the Euro 0%. Go over to this calculator, fxpro.com forward slash trading tools slash calculator slash swap. Okay, so we have this where we can just work out so and there you have the money you would make or lose by holding this trade overnight so if you're going long on euro turkish lira you would lose 69 dollars per night as you hold that trade and you will make 27 dollars per night just by holding that trade now how is this useful to us like how can we use this well, if you are a swing trader and a position trader, obviously you'd want to be buying Turkish Lira against the Euro and holding it for as long as possible. But let's just say you're in a trade as well. You're in a trade, the price comes up, so you're in profit, but this market starts ranging for days upon days upon days of just range. Now, if you were in a trade where you have a negative swap and you're losing money, then if price is ranging for all these days and not going anywhere, you probably don't want to hold this trade because every day that every daily candle that closes, you're going to be losing money on this negative swap. But conversely, if you have positive swap and you're in this trade and it starts ranging like this, you might want to just hold on to that trade rather than close it. It's going nowhere, but you'll be earning money from this swap rollover. So every single day that passes every rollover of that daily candle 
You'll be making money on this trade, even though the trade's going nowhere, you'll be earning money on it every single night. So you might want to stay in that position and just hold it and you know not be concerned about this range period. You're making money in it. So that's one way you can apply um, that positive swap in your favor. You know, obviously by knowing that you have a negative swap and the market starts ranging like that, again, you might want to get out of the trade. You know, so you have the information works both ways. So obviously, if you come and look at this now, you might think, all right, the pound is, let's just take the American dollar, sorry. So let's look at the American dollar. So 0.25% versus the euros, 0%. So that might look like a positive swap, but you have to take into account the, the broker's markup, okay? You won't just get a positive swap just because the interest rate is slightly higher because of the way the calculation is done. So if we look at uh, Euro USD, this swap, even though the interest rate is higher, the, the swap should be negative still, no matter which way you're trading. So yeah. As you see, obviously, if you're trading it short, the swap's not as bad, but it's still negative whichever way you do it. Even though, even though if you're buying, if you're going short, so you're buying the dollar against the euro, which has the higher interest rate, you're still not making money there because of the way the calculation is done. So you have to keep that in mind also. There has to be enough of a differential between the two interest rates to cover the markup fee of the broker okay so keep that in mind that there will be this broker's markup fee which you need to you need to cover so you can use this calculator to really see like what positions you actually want to make money on so that is the broker's markup fee and i don't know how to describe that except that's their bit of interest charge okay just because there is a positive interest rate against another currency does not necessarily mean you'll be making that positive swap fee. There has to be a high enough differential to cover the broker's markup. So like I say, this will apply mainly to swing traders and position traders where you can just hold on to a position. You can just make money holding on to your position. It doesn't really have to be moving anywhere. It can be stuck in a range for six months but you can make money just by having that positive swap fee. So on this channel, I'm obviously going to teach smart money concepts. That's the main premise of the channel. But I also want to educate on these other things within the markets that we're trading that some people will know this, obviously, but there'll be some people in the group that don't really know about this. And now they've just you know, had a little bit of education on it. And if they want to know more, they can go find out from better sources who are more qualified to talk about it than I am. But I want to provide more than just the average smart money concepts that are regurgitated. And you can go around six, seven, eight, ten 10 different smart money channels and they'll have all the same things. You know, they have all the same concepts being regurgitated over and over again. So yes, I have to do that on this channel because like, you know, I have to provide the concepts, but I also want to provide other education, you know, just to further your knowledge in these markets, not just to do with smart money concepts, just to do with market mechanics and the way the markets work. You know, things that I've been covering, like the way trades are activated, things like the swap fees. You know, I want to cover all these sort of basic things that we deal with every day in the markets doesn't matter what strategy we're applying whether it's a smart money concepts or a moving average crossover there are some things that apply to everybody so i want to try and cover lots of these things and not just focus solely on smart money concepts don't get me wrong i'm not going to be teaching you moving average crossover strategies and you know that type of thing on this channel but we are going to cover more than smart money concepts so That'll be it for this video, just a short little video on swap rate and how you can you know, make it work in your favor, how it's calculated and things that may be confusing you while you're not getting that positive swap, while you're still getting charged, even though one currency has a positive interest rate compared to the other. It has a, you know, a higher differential, but 
you're still not making money. Now you know it's because of the broker's markup and the way that uh, the swap rate is calculated. So yeah, hopefully a little bit of knowledge dropped there. And if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, like the video. If you didn't learn something, like the video. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, like it. If you didn't enjoy it, like it. Just like the video, <laughs> okay? And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, trade smart, not often. <laughs>